Okay, this is an example of a diffraction grating here. As you can see, there's many slits uh, through which light can go through. And when light goes through it, when you shine monochromatic light through it, it forms a pattern like this. As you can see, very sharp maximas. Now, uh, many diffraction gratings actually have 300 or maybe even 600 lines per millimeter, which means you can't even see them because the distance between them, uh, between the lines is so small. So what we're interested in firstly is the distance between lines. So when we zoom in, we're interested in the, that D there, the slit separation. Okay, the diffraction grating shown has 300 lines per millimeter. Calculate the slit separation, i.e. the distance between each line in meters. Okay, so we have 300 lines per millimeter. In order to figure out the millimeters uh, between each line, we need to go one over the lines per millimeter. That gives me 3.3 times 10 to the power of minus three. But the problem is that is in millimeters. And then I need to convert this into meters. So so the, dis the slit separation is gonna be 3.3 times 10 to the minus six. What I've done there is I've divided by a thousand. In meters. So as you can see, the distance between each slit is extremely small, 10 to the minus 6 order. You can want to shine monochromatic light through this diffraction grating and see what happens on the screen. So you can see you've got these patterns being formed. So the central one is called the zeroth order. Okay, And the one the zeroth order is formed when the light passing through the slits, through all the different slits, meet with zero path difference because they all travel the same distance. And so the phase difference is also zero, and so they superpose constructively. Then we have the first order, just to the uh, left and right of it, above and below, and that is formed when the light passing through the different slits all have a path difference of one wavelength between each other. So it means that they are still in phase and they superpose constructively to make a maximum. Then we've got the second order and so on. Okay, so the second order here is formed, again, as you can guess, the path difference between the different waves going through the slits is two lambda, two lots of wavelengths. So they're still in phase and they superpose constructively to form a maxima. Okay, this equation can be used with diffraction gratings to figure out the angle to the nth order. So let's pretend we've got some uh, order that we're interested in over here and we're gonna call that an order number n. Okay, so we use lowercase n here to uh, put that in there. So in this example, I've got all, this one is like one, two, three, four, five. So fifth order, this one. So if I put five into this equation here, the angle I get on the other side is gonna be the angle to the fifth order. So lambda here is a wavelength and normally we use monochromatic light. So in this case, I've used red. And then D is a slit separation we just figured out right now. And the angle there is the angle between the zeroth order and the nth order. Okay. In this question here, we've got the same diffraction grating, the one with 300 lines per millimeter, and that can be obviously used to figure out D, okay, uh, the slit separation. And then we've got the wavelength here, that's in nanometers, so we're gonna have to convert that. And then we're trying to find the angle between the zeroth order and the fifth order. So we're gonna use n equals five, and we're trying to calculate the angle. Okay, so firstly, I'm going to calculate the slit separation. That's going to be 1 over 300, and then times that by 10 to the minus 6 to 10 centimeters. And then I'm going to use this equation here. So firstly, I know I want theta, so let's just make that the subject. So sine inverse of n lambda over d. That should give me theta. If I put those in, sine inverse, and if we're in the fifth order here, then the wavelength in nanometers, uh, turn into meters, 10 to 9, minus 9, sorry. And then the distance between the slits is 3.3 times 10 to the minus 6. And that gives me an angle of 51.1 degrees from the central zeroth order to the fifth order.